Right. Yeah, that's it. Whoa! <clears throat> thought that was the Dune theme for a second. However, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> the hell it goes. Dune. Dune. Two. Ow! Ladies and gentlemen, for the trollers, welcome. <laughs> 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 cool. I'm what's <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the trollers, welcome back to For the Troll Fantasy, <laughs> the most entertaining fantasy football podcast on the planet. I'm Noah Selby. Well, That's Wes I'm Selby, West and we've got an injury buyback episode for you guys today. Dude, I was so committed. I was so committed that it was going to be such a smooth, good bit, and I lost it about approximately 0.5 seconds after I did it. So (laughs) it was incredible. And we don't. We're not lying. We say most entertaining fancy podcast on the planet. I guess. Uh, Oh my my goodness. Welcome back. God. It's going to be a great episode. We like, it, like we mentioned in this midst of all this laughter, uh, we're talking about injured players mm. who are returning in 2024. First guy to talk about was the first guy picked in the night was Caleb Williams, who hauled ass up to the stage. Dude, I, I love the, seeing him. They fired were like, up. He was just like he got the call and then they announced it. And like usually people take. The slow walk and they're feeling the emotions and he's like didn't I he take he, the hat and just go to the stage he didn't yeah he didn't even stop the at the mirror to like do his thing he just grabbed the hat they cut to the mirror shot and no one was there and it was like oh, uh. <laughs> it was like the truman show when they're like searching it, for the guy and they just they right. can't find truman on screen and yeah, that was caleb williams brandon Ayuk reportedly requested a trade himself but his agent immediately shut that down and uh who knows how much merit there is to that as well yeah i feel Smoke like screens. I, I, I if he goes somewhere else i'm pumped Draft for day trade. please become josh allen's new wide receiver one <laughs> can you imagine oh, dude i would, that would be a dream anywhere I, I, He's fantastic. I know 49ers fans would, would – and Bills fans – I mean, at least Bills fans would definitely say, yeah, we'll give up 28 for Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, sure. Like, let's, Easy. let's go for it. So, yeah. That would be incredible. Cool. But his agent – dude, don't even – don't even encourage this hope, dude. His agent said no, okay? Brandon Ayuk's, Brandon Ayuk's not going anywhere, dude. <laughs> Brandon, you chill your Brandon bill. Ayuk? Brandon, Brandon Ayuk? Brandon is not going anywhere, Brandon dude. Ayuk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, real yeah. quick, preface, you can hear from my voice, it's a little uh, scratchy. Um, just little, small, mild infection, so bear with me the entire episode. I try to talk for 45 minutes, and if I don't <laughs> laugh, if I don't, if I don't laugh at your jokes, Noah, it's because you're not funny. It's not because of my voice. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fair. So, I, I think he could be fine. I think he should be fine, but it just depends on what the system ends up looking like with him, but he's got he's got all the weapons in the world for him, so... It should be. It should be successful. Sorry. It feels like, dude, that's nice. <laughs> Thanks, bro. This is so having some ball blast over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, all right, Kim Lewis should be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just the carbonation, dude. Shit, damn. All right, anyway, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. I saw way too much of that when I was watching Drake May tape. I, I think he tries to play too much hero ball, and I don't think he's. I. I I do think he's the third best quarterback in the class, but I, I don't know. Dude, dude, chill with the Rip Baja, bro. What is going? What is going Let's on? Let's go, dude. <laughs> anyway, Sorry. I, 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 I'm not necessarily super imp- – unfortunately, yeah. too. I liked him a lot coming out of college, but it's okay. Listen, speaking of college, the NFL draft is on Thursday. Nice Okay, as I mentioned way. already. Thanks, dude. <laughs> worked on it a lot. Really had to think about that in one. In the bathroom. A lot of college. Yeah. I liked him out of college. Lot of college. Speaking, Speaking of college. Speaking of college. <laughs> <laughs> the, okay, right, so. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do here is I'm excited to draft a third running back to add and play in my flex spot, and he gets to join his teammate because I'm going to take Rashad White running back Damn for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> no! That's the league winner! 
Son of a I bitch! That's the guy I'm he's going to take! Win. I'm going to win then. There you go. I'm going to win. What are you going to do, Wes? Be adaptable. Because now T. Higgins off the board. Mark Andrews off the board. Shut. Roma Dunze at the 5-7. Okay, here's one that I'm scared to even bring up. Yeah, he's the last guy. But I'm having second thoughts on Tyreek Hill. I am... I'm very, very scared. I think. What, what if what if defense has figured it out? Is the 103 worth it? That's where my thoughts are sitting at right now. Are you shitting myself? <laughs> are you shitting my pants, dude? Tyreek Hill is the guy I'm having second thoughts on as well. Is it? He really? is the guy I was about <laughs> to say next. They have Quentin Johnston, okay? They're, they're fine, dude. Yeah, they're good. They're locked in. They they're saw fine, what they man. had last year, and they're like, he almost catches those footballs, dude. Let's get rid of everyone. That they saw catch. him single-handedly lose like three games, and they were like, you know what? Yeah. He's our guy. Yeah. We could have had the number one pick if we gave him more opportunities, so let's keep pushing for that. Dude, this time last year, we were so out on Quentin Johnston, and then he got drafted to the Chargers, and we were like, Dang, dude, he's got Justin Herbert. He, this guy might be legitimate. I don't think he actually, I'll sp- that's me speaking for myself. I was like, oh, uh, maybe something's happening here. And I may have made some poor decisions and drafted him in some <laughs> dynasty leagues. <laughs> what are going to happen this year? You don't know what's going to happen. Whatever, dude. The, the NFL valued uh, Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson. So, yeah, that whatever, was hilarious. Dude. But if he can get to the NFL level and carve out a role of, of 10 to 15 touches a game, I think he can be the top back in the class for fantasy. I really do. I think he's really, really special. Jalen Wright is somebody I am very high on. I, I've i never heard of him. I have no <laughs> idea who you're talking about. So this is awesome. I've learned something on our show. I've never heard of this guy. Dude, I went through 10 running backs and you're like, Jalen Wright. I was like, all right, let me go through shit. I don't, I didn't write down this guy at <laughs> all. Okay. I'm going to take your word completely. I'll look him up yeah. later, but good pitch. Good pitch. More often than not, Adonai Mitchell is the guy they're talking about. My number five wide receiver is Xavier Worthy. Ooh. And uh, my word for Xavier Worthy is McQueen. Because <laughs> every single game he says, speed. I Ch- am Ch- speed. Yeah, and that's yeah. He runs by corners. Ka chow. They're like, what? Ka chow. He just, he just wow, said another Ka-chow. touchdown, like, Mater. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, head over to fourthandtrollstore dot com. You're gonna cop some merch, some hats, some shirts, sweatshirts, oh, yeah. mugs, stickers. Rumor has it we're about to be selling uh, Fourth and Troll branded uh, live dogs on that website. Just. Rumor has it, uh, so keep an ear out. Cannot confirm the source. What a time that's going to be. <laughs> you want to just overpromise? You want to promise things that will never be on the store? We're still for the troll branded Lamborghinis on the site. Go <laughs> right. ahead and give it a, give it a bargain deal, $10. Ru- Allegedly. Rumor has it, we'll give you a car for free if you subscribe. Rumor has it. Rumor has Cannot it. Cannot confirm, but rumor has it. One way to find out. Take a firm, but rumor has it. That's what the street that's that's what the streets are saying. Wes, we get some news. Dude, right. Irv Smith Jr. was a guy we were talking about. Genuinely. Like legitimately, we were talking about Irv Smith Jr. being like, oh, dude, I don't I mean t- tunnel yeah. farg- Tunnel Fargeting is what I just said. Funnel targeting. <laughs> tunnel Fargeting. Dude, is, that's my favorite position. Tunnel Fargeting. Yeah. That's my favorite position. <laughs> um, listen. Kyle Pitts is exactly who we think he will be. Think about oh where in Matt Ryan's career he was at what stage. Dude, okay, there it is. There it is, Wes. We did it. The top eight most hyped players coming into the 2024 fantasy season. On the books there for you. Let us know. Earthquake? Too soon? I just hit the – yeah, <laughs> too soon. Yeah, dude, I live in California. Dude, that's sensitive How to me, rude, okay? Dude. You chill your, chill your deal, dude. You're, You're still rude to me at the end of the episode. <laughs> Obviously, this happens all off season with like every player that gets hurt. We're all like, "Oh, it's back!" And then we right. obviously have to tender, temper, tender, temper expectations. Temper. Um, 
Just think about chicken tenders, dude. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> jump. When are we not, dude? When are we not talking about it. chicken tenders, dude? Bro, let's, let's, jump into, <laughs> let's jump into the next guy here. I just mentioned this guy. Lad McConkey goes to the Los Angeles Chargers with the second pick of the second round. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 I, I'm... So happy with this pick. Yeah, I, Lad McConkey, give a guy like this a quarterback like Justin Herbert, even in a run heavy offense. I don't even care, dude. Lad McConkey is going to have 120 targets this season. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to see how they use this guy. You get a C grade on this one, Wes. What are we thinking about Ben Sennett, who I've, re- I've heard people referring to him as the senator? I won't be referring to him as that at all. I love it.